Okay, Nana, in our last video, alright, I talk about the long call, okay? Long call is actually the position when buyer buy the call option. Okay, so the buyer has the right to buy shares at X. Harapannya current market price is higher than X, okay? The buyer of call option expect the market will be bullish or currently uh, uptrending lah, okay? Alright, so we have done with long call, okay? So, kita recall balik, let's recap long call, okay? You expect uh, bullish, okay? Market is bullish, so you expect the current market price will be higher than X, okay? Bila current market price higher than X, what will you do? Kita akan beli shares guna option, Lepas tu kita jual kat harga pasaran Okay, so kita untung lah Okay, the profit will be Macam ni nak kira untung, current market price Minus X, minus premium Okay, beli guna option Jual dekat pasaran, tolak harga modal Beli option, then it will be your profit But if the current market price Is lower than X, out of the money Kita tak akan exercise, kita akan Limitkan kita punya loss Okay, kepada premium saham Sahaja, okay Alright, today we will we'll look at the uh, opposite position of long call. Okay. Kalau long call, kita expect market to be bullish kan, graf dia. Okay. Alright, ini adalah graf kepada uh, pembeli call option. Long call punya graf. Okay. Bila kita beli call option, maksudnya there is another party that will sell to us the call option. Okay. So, the party... Or is actually in the position of what? Short call. Today kita akan buat short call. Okay. Right. Short call. Okay. You beli call option. Another party will sell you the call option. Okay. Kenapa? The seller or the issuer sell call option. Sebab they expect market to be. Market outlook is apa? Market is bearish. Okay, dia jangka harga akan jatuh. Okay, right. so let's draw the diagram for short call. Bearish, bearish maksudnya macam mana? Ah, jatuh ke bawah. Okay, draw it properly. Ah, gitu. And then nama pun call, panggil. So panggil dia ke kita. Sengit. Tukar sikit. Okay, pun sengit. Okay, alright. Garis kan And then draw the X axis Okay so this is your Y Again still your profit of Loss This is your current market Price in RM Okay this one is also in RM Let's say you short call apa Short call contoh yang sama RM10 At 50 cent Tak muat RM10 At Okay right. Kalau kita tengok kan Graf untuk short call Dia adalah Graf untuk long call yang kita flipkan naik ke atas Okay ha, Bila kita flipkan naik ke atas Dia jadi macam ni ha, Nampak tak graf ni 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 So yang ini adalah Graf yang ini adalah long call Graf ini adalah short Short call yang ni garisan ni Okay ha. Because you are, Sini adalah pembeli option Sini adalah penjual option Normally penjual option ni Normally lah, the corporation ada company yang issue the shares, okay, they akan issue call option If the the company expect that the market will be bearish or currently down trending Kenapa? Bila market tengah jatuh, apa yang akan berlaku? Buyer will not exercise the option Okay, kita plot dulu This is your X, 10 ringgit This is your break even, sama juga 10 ringgit setengah This is X, this is PE, BE sama Alright, break even for long call equals to break even for short call Which is 10 tambah premium 50, 50 sen Okay, 10 setengah So, what happen? Okay, katakan harga naik Okay, kepada, 10, uh, kepada 12 ringgit Current market price now is now Current market price is now 12 ringgit Okay, kalau 12 ringgit, what will happen? Okay Buyer kat sini will be in the money Okay Sebab kalau kita tengok balik graf yang long call tu Okay RM12 kat mana? Somewhere kat sini Maksudnya Dalam keadaan ni It is in the money for the buyer 
So buyer will exercise the option Jadi untung buyer tu akan jadi rugi seller Ingat eh, short call You Bila you short call, you jual call option You have obligation Alright, you have, you have obligation to sell shares At X Orang sebelah sini yang long call tu Dia ada right to buy shares at X Maksudnya This person pula have the obligation to sell the shares at X Bila dia ni datang kata Okay, saya nak beli share awak guna option, guna coupon Nak tak nak you kena jual pada X Walaupun harga pasaran Okay, eh, walaupun harga sebenarnya 12 Okay, patutnya you tak Alright Patutnya you You boleh jual kat dia harga 12 Sebab harga pasaran 12 Tapi dia datang kat you bawa kupon tau Bawa option Dia kata saya datang Saya datang nak beli share awak Harga RM10 Kenapa dia boleh beli pada harga RM10 Sebab dia ada right to buy at X Maka kita ru rugi lah As the seller of the call option Kita akan rugi bila The shares uh, Bila the option is in the money for the call uh, For the buyer of the option Okay Alright So Dalam case ni Kita akan rugi Okay Alright, ha, ini adalah kita punya unlimited loss Kita Ini adalah kita punya limited profit Kita tengok dulu loss Sekarang, current market price adalah 12 So, you sebagai penjual call option, you kena fikir Buyer akan guna tak option dia untuk beli share Of course, the buyer will exercise sebab dia apa? Sebab current market price besar daripada X in the money untuk dia Jadi, nak tak nak kita kena jual Jadi kita akan kira rugi kita Alright X minus current market price plus premium Why formula ni? Sebab sekarang Kalau dari untuk call option Current market price minus X X tu harga beli dia So kalau X tu harga beli dia Maksudnya X tu harga jual kepada kita lah Sebab we have obligation to sell shares at X So X minus current market price 10 Tolak 12 Kenapa plus premium? Sebab kita kan jual option ni Bila dia beli option daripada kita They pay the premium Alright So premium tu dapat kat kita 50 sen So do you still remember? Alright For long call option When the buyer Untung RM1.50 Maksudnya kita pula rugi RM1.50 Okay ha. But When the current market price Okay RM10.50 Okay Again Buyer akan exercise Kenapa? In the money untuk dia Are you with me? It is in the money for the buyer <coughs> Sorry, sorry It is in the money for the buyer Bila dia exercise je Maka kita terpaksa lah jual pada harga RM10.50 So again Kita gantikan kat sini RM10 So lah RM10.50 Kita rugi RM10.50 Lepas tu kita dapat Premium RM50 Okay, kosong Maksudnya kalau dia break even Seller of the option also will be break even Okay Alright And then Katakan harga sekarang RM9 Bila RM9 What happen to the buyer tadi? Dia akan jadi out of the money Bila out of the money What will happen? The buyer of the option will not exercise the option When the buyer of the option Do not exercise the option Maka Dia tak akan exercise Bila dia tak exercise Kita akan dapat sepenuhnya Alright profit kita dalam bentuk debris premium Kita akan dapat RM50 So remember eh Bila harga kurang daripada RM10, buyer tak exercise tau Bila buyer tak exercise, kita akan dapat untung Okay, untung kita limited eh kat sini Up to the premium berapa? RM50 only So as you can see Limited profit for the seller is actually the limited loss for the buyer ha, Okay Dia dapat unlimited profit, kita dapat unlimited loss Area ni, dia akan exercise kenapa? Dia nak kurangkan loss dia at the same time dia akan kurangkan kita punya profit Contoh Harga sekarang RM10.30 Kat sini RM10.30 So what will happen Buyer will exercise Bila buyer exercise dia Or confirm You as the seller of the option akan rugi So X minus current market price Plus premium So RM10 Tolak RM10.30 Okay Kita rugi negative RM30 Tapi kita dapat premium RM50 Kita untung berapa RM20 RM20 so dia rugi 20 sen kat sini Kita untung 20 sen kat sini Alright So remember Short call is the opposite position of the long Long call Alright Those yang buy option Will have the right to buy the shares Kalau call lah kan Kat sini pula When you sell the call option to the buyer You have the obligation to sell the share at exercise 
surprise. So that's about short call. Take your time to understand. Okay. Then in our next video, I will talk about long put and short put.